this is visualbasic.net um, 2012 part number 22 parameter query using vb.net this is for beginners this tutorial for beginners so now i will tell you how to create the parameter query already we created one database the database contains a, a course table in the course table I have the records, four or five records I created in the data grid view. Now I want to create the query builder. How to create the query? How to create the parameter query? I'll go to the data set. Double click the data set. I'll create the data set now. Now you can see the data set. Maybe it is coming. Data set. Now I will add the table adapter. This is my table adapter. This is my connection string. I'll go here. Then use sql statements i will use the sql statement go to query builder there is only one table course one i will add the course one table i'll close this one i want to select all columns control m and credit suppose in the filter i will use question mark this is called parameter query it will create i will execute the query you see it will come like this what is my course id suppose my course id is IT, I given ITTB1204. I think so. This is my record number. You see, it is available. It will search like this that particular value here. So now I will give OK. It's working. So how I will do it here? I will go next. Then I can finish this particular query. Then I have the create query. I will go here in project. I will add one more form that is called form 2. Here in the form 2. This is my form 2. I want to run the form 2 using the query. I will go to the data source. Data source. You can see in the data source. The post 1 and post 1 1. Is my query builder. Suppose I want to change the name. You see here. In my. This is my query builder. Here I want. This is my table name. Post 1. Post 1 1 is my newly created query name. Suppose I want to change the query name. I will say that. Post one hyphen to one this is my query one this way also I can. you can see here in your um, data source you can see this is also changed now i can go and i can use the grid view like this this query query builder i can use the grid view here you can see para parameter is coming that particular parameter is coming i will run the uh, form two I will change the running form as form 2. Now I will run the form 2 here. So what are the values I will run? Now I can get the value. IT TB1204. I can click fill. Now you can see you can get this one. Suppose I want. I I am I, I, not clear about how many the records I have. How many values I have. Now I will go there. View Server Explorer. I can go and check the uh, show table data. What are the values I given actually? ITTB1201 and ITNT1201. This also I given. So what I will do is now again I will run. IT, I give ITTB1201. This record I want to search. Can you see? ITNT1201. I will click fill. Can you see? This way, this is what parameter. When I search the query, that particular record, record set, record only display in your query. This is the way. First, we already see in your tutorial, previous tutorial, how to create query builder, query using, uh, uh, using query builder, how to create a simple query. This is parameterized 